Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to some more F1 Manager 22. This is the final episode. I'm officially retiring from Alpine at the end of this episode. This car has come a, a long way, a wild journey it has been trying to get this car to the front. And we have successfully maintained a P1 and a P1 in the constructors and drivers standing. So, yeah, it's been a wild ride. Enjoyed it. So let's finish off with a banger. And that is exactly what we're going to do because I'm going to give Gasly his extra uh, development point there. Uh, Dr uh, Drukovic, Duan, uh, Jack Duan also has one. All right, then without further ado, let's get into it. The final race of the season. We're going to get both cars in the top two positions. Let's try reach Q3 for both cars. Let's see. And then for race target, fastest left for sure. And then finishing position. Let's try and get it. So Abu Dhabi, here we go. Season ends here. Hey, we found the 100% optimal setup for Gasly. I did not expect this, but FP2 is looking good for us. Oh no, Gasly crashed. Gasly crashed. I did not see it happen, but ay ay ay, Gasly is out. He smashed the car. Chassis damage. Darn. At least we have some good news, which is Leclerc has given us an optimal setup here. So yeah, both cars are in optimal setups, but I need to pay attention to what Lecle uh, what Gasly needs fixed. All right, so let's see what the damage is. P7, P10 for our two drivers, both on 100% setup confidence, which is always good. Let's see. Okay, let's fix the engine. The engine's busted. So thankfully, we used the reserve engine for the practice sessions. So we saved our best engine for qualifying in the race. Let me see. Car setup is fine. Okay, I think the car is fixed on its own. Let's go to Leclerc. Let's put in fresh engine components as well. And I think we should be ready to go for qualifying. The final qualifying session of this series. Quite impressive, I must say. These two drivers have served us well. Let's see if they can keep it going until the last moment of this season. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. If you are, there are a couple things you can do to support the channel. First off, press that like button and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe by pressing the red button down below and hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as I upload next. Thank you guys so much for your support. Hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. A lot of drivers heading out early. Our mini map shows a lot of cars out on track trying to set lap times here. Gazzy's the first one to cross the line uh, Leclerc and Gasly have been trading purple sectors here um, so Gasly goes with the 122.5 Leclerc's just behind by two thousandths he has suffered a couple uh, mishaps I guess uh, not as clinical as Gasly but that is pretty much identical timing if you ask me so it's very close between the two we only needed to do that one run we just need to get through 2q3 right now so Perez tops the table here Alcon is a surprise in the Alfa Romeo getting p5 but knocked out our Iwasa, Tsunoda, Latifi, Schumacher and Joe so the next round here we go all right then used tires on the car let's see Leclerc's having a much better lap than Gasly this time it seems like Leclerc is pushing back at Gasly goes 71 thousandths faster identical time essentially again from both drivers which shows our consistency i really like that made it through once again with the used tires piastri tops the table this time with stroll albon vettel ricardo and magnuson out in q2 so final round here we go this is what matters i think the lap is somewhat compromised this time in q3 but it doesn't matter because this is the used tire run so it's going to be bad already 123.0 not too bad actually let's see what gasly sets he should have had a little bit of a cleaner lap yeah 61 thousandths faster now let's put the fresh tires on and really push for the final lap of the qualifying session all right leclerc on fresh tires here absolutely brand spanking new soft tires checkered flag is flown right now as he crosses the line to get p2 just about a tenth or two tenths behind norris let's see gasly's our final hope here as he we ride on board with him try to see if he'll be able to beat leclerc's time here delta's about seven tenths on his time maybe Maybe pole positions in the books here. Oh, ah, he only goes P3. What a shame. What a shame. Norris with an absolutely stonking lap time. 122.2 gets fastest lap and pole position. Leclerc and Gasly just behind. So step aside, Verstappen. Step aside, buddy. You're down here. Uh, Lando Norris tops the table here, so he's on pole. But I'm confident that we can overtake him at the start of the race and pull away. Let's see if I can bring on the best strategy call for Abu Dhabi even until the last moment of the season. Here we go. Final race. 
Race day has arrived and the time has come for these drivers to fight it out wheel to wheel. We didn't see any unexpected prowess from Alpine during qualifying, but they did well for themselves. Everything's still open to them for the race. This weekend, Red Bull displayed promise during qualifying. Now they need to capitalize on their grid position and get a good race under their belts. A sunny day here with only a few clouds in the sky. If things stay this way, the weather shouldn't pose any challenges to the teams. And teams will have to make tough split-second decisions here if they're going to succeed. An exhilarating race lies ahead of us with the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. And here we go, Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. No rain expected, obviously. It's in the middle of the Middle East. So, yeah, we should be expecting a nice, quiet race. All right, so I'm going to go for a little unorthodox strategy here. Gazi, I'm going to start on the mediums and do a two-stop. With Leclerc, I'm going to try a one-stop uh, to see how this works. We're P2 and P3 anyway, so we'll try to get past Norris as soon as we can in the first stages of the uh, Grand Prix. And then we'll see uh, if tire management works. There is high tire deg, so I'm expecting a two-stop or two work. So in case of Leclerc, we'll just pit him early and do a medium, medium stint. So that is the strategy. Let's get it. Before I do, let's overfuel Leclerc's car by a little bit. And let's start this race. Let's go to Abu Dhabi. The drivers are lined up tonight under mostly clear skies. And there's Charles Leclerc. After an impressive qualifying performance, they're starting today just behind pole. Next for the team, it's Pierre Gasly. They've managed a third place start for this race, but can they turn it into a win? The teams are ready to go. And let's do it. Anything Last race of the, the season. Last race of the series. Let's see if Leclerc can get this move done. Lights out and away we go indeed. Leclerc pushing from the get-go, trying to get the inside line on Norris but Norris is able to cover it off and he, off we go into turn two and turn three banked turn Gasly may get the better run on his teammate here as he tries to push on Norris Norris going for the outside line the clean line into the hairpin but is a little compromised there I think made a little mistake because Leclerc is pushing back let's see can we get a move done at this chicane I wonder. He is straddling two Alpine cars on either side. Late breaking by Leclerc possibly, but it's three wide heading into the chicane. And we lose track position to Perez, who's just made a massive dive into the last corner or the chicane there. And down the second straight we go as Leclerc slots in behind Gasly trying to find a spot. Some slipstream effect there right on board with Gasly here he is using a little bit more tires than uh, Leclerc I think these guys are on softs Perez is on softs at least interesting strategy call so he is doing a two-stopper all right Gasly let's bring it down let's get overtake going for the car what about Leclerc how far away is Leclerc okay oh whoops all right Leclerc I think we will try and deploy to catch up like, what are you doing? Straddling this car. Make the overtake like that. That's one thing I hate about this game. It's really turning me away from playing this more because it's so stupid. Like, make the move. Make the dive right there. Why? What, what is this weird, like, jostling and stuff? Ugh. It's just annoying. All right. Well, we'll harvest this battery. We'll harvest this battery as well. Here we go. We're attempting an overtake. It's three wide as we head into the chicane, just like the earlier stages. And we get the inside line. Outside line. Come on. Let's deploy Leclerc as well. Try to get him ahead of signs here. And yes, Gasly just, has, just overtook both Norris and Perez in the chicane. Okay, good, good. Let's try and pull away from Norris, please. Let's try and pull a gap. This is brilliant driving from Gasly to try and win this race. Okay, we'll tell Gasly to do his thing. We need to manage the color here a bit. Let's go neutral for a moment. And then deploy. Fastest lap as well. Nice. Purple lap. I'll let you know if the situation changes. 
Okay, now let's deploy. Use a little bit of tires, try to get past these guys and prepare for a DRS overtake here. Let's see. Overtake, let's get it. Around the inside of signs, please. Late breaking, good. Oh, why are you stopping on the apex there, man? Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay, let's use a little tires and get this overtake done. Look, clear. come on. Gasly's doing well to hold cars behind. Trying his best here. Oh, look at this. Maybe Leclerc will get a move done around the outside. Ooh, just about. Misses out. Okay, remove it. And let's see if Leclerc can really push. It is four wide. Nope, three wide. As Gasly loses out two positions there. That's okay. It's a long race. I'm not even giving him ERS, that's why. Okay, Leclerc's just absolute whack. He is the worst driver I've seen all of a sudden. What's happening? Where is his passion? There's no aggression. Okay, here we go. Gasly's retaking the lead here. Look at him go, man. Look at this guy go. This is how you're supposed to be driving, Leclerc. This guy's on absolute smoke. Gasly's cooking. Leclerc is just so bad. Like, bro, learn how to drive. He was so good for most of the season. All of a sudden, he just doesn't know how to drive, which is bizarre. And also unrealistic. Oh, competitor crash. There was a car off. I just heard something behind me. It's a Red Bull safety car. Hold on, safety car. Harvest everything. Harvest everything now. Let's see. I think the Red Bull of Signs just went straight on and crashed. There we go. Signs. What did he do? Locked up and went straight on. Ooh. Rear wing's gone. Absolutely obliterated. Shame. But that's good for us. A little pressure off. Maybe I should pit Gasly right now for the hard tires. And here we go. Gasly's coming in. Let's see what he gets. Okay, a lot of people are pitting actually, trying to make use of this safety car. Okay, 2.4 from the team, not bad, not too shabby. Leclerc behind Norris. Um, so yeah, we're not gonna lose too many positions, I think. Yep, we're not gonna lose too, man too much time, too many positions. I think we'll slot in right between the Aston Martin. Yep. Oh, even beating the Alpha Tauri out. That is much better than I expected. P8 and overtake on for Leclerc especially because he needs to try and get past. Oh, Norris spun. Norris spun just as the restart happened. So let's deploy. Okay, what are you doing? Let's deploy. Is this safety car? No. That was hilarious. I just saw Norris spin on the last corner. And the safety car restart was just about to happen. What is he doing? Oh boy. Big fumble from Lando Norris. Well, we'll try to push Leclerc. Let's use a bit of tires. Try to get the positions going. Gasly up to P7 now. Now that uh, Norris spun out. Come on, buddy. I'm giving you ERS and DRS. Or fuel and ERS. Come on. There we go. Eso, eso. That's what we're talking about. Maybe even more. An Alpha Tauri even. Let's see. Gasly going for a move on the Alpha Tauri on the inside. And even an Alpha Romeo. Is this a triple overtake? Let's see. No, not yet. He's just staying behind the Alfa Romeo, but he is eyeing it as we finish this lap. DRS enabled. Okay, can he get this? You know what? Let's keep life simple. Let's harvest for a bit. Oh, never mind. He's making the move already. Okay, recharge on, please. Recharge on. We want to let the Alfa Romeo through, and then we'll use the DRS. Oh, come on. Stay behind, stay behind, stay behind the detection zone. Okay, I think he has DRS. Let's keep an eye out. Deploy now. Do you have DRS? No, you don't. You absolute idiot. You gotta stay behind the Alfa Romeo for that DRS detection, man. Okay, Leclerc, you harvest in the meantime. Okay, I think I got a nice run on Piastri here. 
try to get him. Overtake deployed. Let's go. Let's go, Gasly. Let's go, Gasly. Let's go. Look at that. With the DRS breezing through. All right, let's deploy a bit. Okay, we got Perez in the mix here as we reach almost the midway of these Grand Prix. Um, this is going to get interesting. Uh, how many stops has Perez done? He's made one stop. Leclerc's still going. Um, I don't know. I really don't know what I've got here. Gasly's doing well to stay ahead, but I th I'm afraid I might lose out to Perez here. But we do have ERS and the DRS, so let's give him a little bit of DRS or ERS here. And Gasly as well. Let's try to deploy together. Try to work these guys in conjunction with each other. Try to pull these guys together. Yellow flag, but oh, safety car. Hold on, safety car deployed. Safety car. Okay, this is interesting. I might just pit these guys here. Ha, ah, okay. Now. I don't know if I can pit these guys. The mediums are gonna be... But he has to pit. Leclerc must pit right now. Oh, he went straight on in the final turn, just like the other cars. Ouch. And I think he's out, actually. Vettel retired fully. So, yeah, Leclerc's gonna come in for the mediums, and I think we'll be able to manage those tires. If not, we'll hope for a red flag, or we'll hope for a big enough gap to pit this guy one last time on softs. Nice. 2.36. Not bad. But Gasly's doing well out in front. He still has a lot of tire life left, so we can start pushing. Try to build a gap on Perez, who has already made one stop. Okay, we gotta go standard. Push. Deploy. Aggressive. Push. Overtake. And let's see if we can make those moves. Okay, already Leclerc's going for an aggressive line there. Perez under pressure. Which is always good. We want to try and run away with Gasly. And we want to push with Leclerc on fresh tires as well. Let's ride on board with this guy. See if he makes the move stick. Oh, excuse me. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Because he parks it on the apex like he did all the other times he tried an overtake around that chicane. And I can't use too much tire, actually. We've got to save these. I mean, we're on target to finish this race on these tires so what is that jostling I don't get it all right there we go look close through let's deploy run 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 do not give Perez that DRS let's run away okay we're gonna tell Leclerc to overtake here because he has DRS and needs to run away so let's deploy a little let's deploy for Gasly as well so that he is safe so we run away together for the remainder of this lap. Because we want to build that gap again. Oh, there's another safety car. Hold on. This is this is golden. This is absolutely golden. Oh, oh excuse me. No. Nope. Hold on. Pause. What's the gap here? What is the gap to the leader? Um, can we slot out ahead of Bottas? That's the question. I think all these guys are going to pit anyway. So let's pit both cars for double stack for another set of mediums. Um, same with Gasly. Let's double stack for another set of mediums. Okay, microphone's back in. Um, okay, let's see. Leclerc's in. Boom. Clear. Let's see. Leclerc's in the lead. Everyone pits. So we're all on the same fresh tires. And we maintain position. Bang on. Good stuff from both uh, parts uh, for both cars. Piastri, Ocon, and Ricardo stayed out. They're still on one stop. They're on a one stop strategy. I think Gazi is able to get past them with ease, but Leclerc got the better pit stop because he did not lose any position positions. So that's good. We have yeah, 17 laps left. So I think Gazi should easily overtake these guys. Okay, here we go then. Leclerc's gonna get us going here with a little bit of a push on the tires. He can afford to push them a little, so let's try and get a gap going. Oh, look at them pull away already. That car is marvelously fast. Let's take a look right on board with Gasly and manage this guy. Okay, let's overtake. Late lunge? Nope. 
Come on. Let's get a move done around the chicane. You could get a double move done. What are you doing with all this zibber jabber? Oh my god. Just drove straight into the McLaren. And through the McLaren, in fact. Quite wild. Okay. We're closing in on Aquan and Piastri on worn tires. So let's see if we can get a move That's done soon. Okay. Leclerc's just gone mentally fast. So I'll just let him chill out in front. Gasly's going to try and make a move in this lap. Okay. I think we've set ourselves up nicely here. Overtake on. A little tire usage as well. Let's try to get past these guys. Around the outside of the chicane. Oh, around the inside. There we go. Made the move stick around the chicane. And then past the Ferrari of Piaggio with ease. And let's run away. Deploy a little. Let's get standard going. Leclerc's chilling out in front. And let's pull a gap again. And here we go. It's the last lap. And it's way too easy. Oh, Sector 3 yellow flag. What's going on? I'm not sure. There's a car that spun. Oh, Stroll spun. That's fine. But yeah, that's just too easy, guys. Too easy. And there we go, Leclerc's making his way around. Oh, well, it's last lap. Come on, chill bon Bono. He's done. Leclerc has won it. I slammed this guy for driving like a bad, like, rookie. Um, but there we go, he's won it. And Gasly P2, too easy. Too easy. I'm telling you, big brain strategy. I'm the best manager there ever was. Come on. Finishing off this season with a bang. Finishing my career with a bang. Let's go. That's what we're talking about. There we go. Perfect strategy call and perfect timing of the safety cars and perfect execution of the pit stops allowed us to get this victory today. And Leclerc had the benefit of being ahead in P1 by the end of the second pit stop. And Gazi had to get through some cars, so he had to fight his way through and end up six seconds behind him but what a drive what a season thank you very much and goodbye well this was definitely Charles Leclerc's weekend this is a tremendous podium result it's joy all around for the team. And the Monegasque driver certainly proved his worth with a terrific drive today. But there we have all three drivers that are taking home the silverware along with the most valuable points. Great racing from Alpine here today. Some high quality work all round. Yep, they managed to bring everything together. Strategy, engineering and driving. They've had a very strong weekend indeed. After an intense weekend, the team ends in first place in the constructor standings. And that's it for this season of Formula One. The teams will be working hard in the break, gearing up for another year of thrilling F1 action. Yep, too easy guys, too easy. Fastest lap and P1, P2 for both drivers. Ocon, our other driver that we had for the start of this series, is in P3. Piastri, Norris, Magnus and Zhou, Ricardo, Sunoda and Albon in the points. Perez, Bottas, Latifi, Verstappen, Russell, Iwasa, Stroll round at the finishers with Schumacher, Vettel and Sainz failing to finish today's Grand Prix. Leclerc rounds out with 433 points to win the driver's standings. 12 wins, 18 podiums and 8 fastest laps, 2 pole positions. What a drive from him. And then Gasly with 2 wins, 13 podiums, 7 fastest laps and 5 pole positions. Uh, it slots in right behind in P3 with Verstappen uh, in between the two drivers. Let's take a look at the constructors with 738 points. We are absolutely a dominating team in this season. We had 14 wins, 20 podiums, and 15 fastest laps with 7 pole positions. That is quite a feat. 
And there we have it. Good amount of development points for our drivers here. Leclerc levels up and Duan also giving us a little bit of experience. Wow, a lot of money made. 8 mil in total. Thank you very much. Just like that, the season is over. Let's see what happens to Leclerc. He's now officially 93 rated. My goodness, this guy is an absolute beast now. GP, yep. Uh, pit crew management. Oh, now he's up to 88 rated. Thank you very much. Okay, driver's championship won. Charles Leclerc, yes, that is true. And Constructors won Alpine. Yes, that is true as well. There we have it. End of season board review. Target position was first and we finished first. Target was win the Constructors Championship and the progress was first. Uh, so yeah, we've completed both. Uh, best driver position was first and Constructors Championship first. And the team rating has become a leader now. We've gone up um, significantly actually. So that is nice. Uh, team rating is now in the 5 star, nearly 5 star rating. Board confidence is high with a team bonus of 1.5 million, which is a splash in the giant lake, essentially. All right, so we're into the new season. I just want to see the car analysis, grid average. Oh my god, we're now in the worst, one of the worst cars on the grid. Let me see if we're slower than the Williams. Oh, we're still faster than the Williams. What about the Haas? Oh, we're slower than the Haas. What about the Alpha uh, or Aston Martin? We're almost on par with Aston Martin. We've jumped way back uh, to the grid um, because we didn't do any real like upgrades or we didn't save any upgrades. Uh, yeah, that is that. If I were to continue, that is. For Seppin Assigned, stay at Red Bull. We maintain our drivers. George Russell joins Perez as Piastri gets kicked out of the team. Magnussen and Norris over at Mercedes, which is quite interesting. Um, Bottas and Albon in McLaren, which is also new, I think. Ricardo and Alcon stay. Zhou Guanyu and Giovinazzi in Alpha Tauri as Vettel, I think, res uh, retires, I think. Piastri has moved to Aston Martin with Iwasa. Um, Iwasa stayed. Lance Stroll and Mick Schumacher still at Williams with Haas taking Latifi and Sonoda. And yeah, that is all. Thank you guys so much for the support over the series. I am officially going to retire. There's no retire button, which is kind of strange. Um, I feel like there should be like a retire button for me to say like i'm out of here uh i'm gonna retire but yeah this has been a wild ride i think we've done brilliantly well to bring alpine to the front for two consecutive years and yeah i couldn't have asked for a better series and thank you guys so much for the support throughout this series as well it's been a wild ride and let's see what we can do in f123 a uh, manager 23 when it comes to us. also on f123 when it drops in a couple days time so thank you guys so much for the support over the series thank you so much for watching if you guys enjoyed make sure you smash that like button subscribe using the red button down below and hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as i upload next thank you guys so much for watching take care and i'll see you guys in the next video